I'm Alex Pino and I'm going to show you how to downsize your life in five simple ways today. First off, why downsize? I'm sure that you guys know this, but you know, we all have our own reasons. For me, it was it was a lot about just gaining freedom. I wanted to save more money, I wanted to start my own business. You might want to become a professional artist, you might want to just spend more time with your family or to just build your dream life or maybe just to vacation more. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're, we're going to go over it all, all right now in these tips. So next is, who am I? Well, I'm Alex. As I told you, I downsized my life back in 2007 so that I could start um, walking towards my dream. In September of 2009, I became an internet entrepreneur full-time. I'm a publisher at Tiny House Talk. I'm really passionate about freedom, uh, personal development. I love my family. Financial freedom is important to me, and of course, living a simple life, which made all of this that you see here possible for me uh, way faster than I ever thought. So, number one, we're going to get right into it, is move into a smaller house. When you move into a smaller house, whether you go from you know 2,500 square feet to 1,200 or 1,000 square feet to 500 or even 5,000 square feet to 3,000, whatever it is, if you make a move down wherever you currently are right now, you're going to have lower utility bills, less cleaning and maintenance to worry about, and you're also going to have lower costs for rent and a mortgage, whichever one it, it is. All in all, lower costs probably a lot more freedom and more discretionary income to spend on other things. Another big idea that can change most people's lives is changing your vehicle situation. And there there are a lot of options, but you know, gas costs are high, vehicle maintenance just costs a lot, so maybe right now you can get rid of your car payment by by selling your vehicle and and either going for a car that's less expensive and gets better gas mileage or whatever. I mean, back Back in 2007, we sold our SUV and were able to just pay off the loan, not make a profit. And then we were able to buy a a $2,000 used Toyota that I, I still have to this day and is working flawlessly. I, I, don't, I barely ever use it because I work from home. But that was one way that we got rid of a, a $300 something dollar a month car payment. And we were able to save a lot of money because of that. So... So other ways are you can share a vehicle, you can use public transportation, um, riding a bicycle, getting an electric bicycle, using a scooter or a motorcycle, just using your car less in general, that helps too, and even walking when you can if that's at all possible for you. Number three is parting with your stuff. I think this is something that every single person watching this video can can do. You know, no matter what stage you are in 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 your in your journey to downsize you can always get rid of more junk um you know whether that's a closet that you have a bedroom a shed or maybe even an entire garage full of junk this stuff by getting rid of it it'll unclutter your life and it'll also unclutter your mind so you just operate life so much better when when you get rid of all all of this physical junk that you see every day Here's some tips if you're having issues getting rid of your stuff. We all kind of do. Um, I think that we're all sort of made to be collectors of sorts. So a lot of times it's hard to to part with things that we've had a past with because they end up meaning something to us. So what I've done is I take pictures of what I think I'll miss. If if it hurts even, even to do that, to take a picture and get rid of it, then put put whatever it is away in a box and then put it somewhere else. Put it away in a closet or in storage or in your shed, whatever. And wait a few months to see how much you really missed it. You might, you probably will find out that you didn't think about the item at all until you decided to get back into your shed. So, you know, at that point, you can take a picture and let it go. Let the item go. Um, another, another thing that I found with a lot of people is that they really don't have that much stuff. Some people, if you're out there, you, you just need a little bit better organization. So so one idea is to just go make some shelves. Go to Ace, Home Depot, or Lowe's, or better yet, get some used recycled wood, sandpaper, and paint, 
and make your own shelves and just get better organized at home and that'll really help help you with the way things look and feel at home especially if you're living in a small in a small space but then number 4 here's how to make money from getting rid of your stuff i think this is this is pretty cool but it isn't for everyone. Some of us just want to get rid of stuff in the fastest way possible because you might be busy with work or, or with your business or, or whatever it is. So you don't really have time to list your things on Craigslist and auction them off on eBay. So if that's you, if you're the busy person, then your best bet is to just give this stuff to charity or to thrift stores or to friends and family. And then, of course, those higher ticket items, you know, you can, you can definitely take the time to list them on Craigslist and auction them off on eBay because they're worth your time. So last but not least, here's some helpful questions you can ask yourself while you're downsizing your life. These questions will just help you get through some issues. So last tip is kind of if you absolutely love something, keep it. There's no no point in letting go of something that you really, really like and enjoy having and, and it looks good in your home. So when you now when you're having issues with something that's purely like sentimental and and you know or or you just have way too many items that you feel that you love then you really got to take a stand and you got to ask yourself all right would i rather have all of this or more freedom in my life and what i like to do is picture yourself living aboard a sailboat or or maybe it's just traveling in an rv across across the country or or just grabbing a backpack and jumping on an airplane and being able to travel the world what would you bring with you you know imagine the freedom of that so what do you have to let go in order to attain that sort of freedom here's what to do now some action steps so go and and you know after you're done with this video go and gather some of your stuff to get rid of just get rid of a couple of things just a handful of things and then make plans to maybe move into a smaller space and then come up with more unique ways to simplify your life, maybe maybe through the way that you use transportation or just just the way that you store your stuff in your home. Last but not least, subscribe to our YouTube channel and this blog. Here's how you do that. There's three ways for you to subscribe. The first is on our YouTube channel. If you're if you're there right now, make sure you hit the yellow subscribe button before you leave. Another way you can connect with us is on facebook.com slash tinyhousetalk. And you can like our website right on there and you'll get updates through Facebook whenever we come out with new stuff like this. The, the last way and I think the best way is just directly through tinyhousetalk.com, our, our blog. And you'll find the little red opt-in form where you can enter your name and email and then you can join our newsletter and you'll get a bunch of cool free stuff. Um, access to ebooks and, and all that good stuff. So, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next video.